What's going on everybody? Figure Addicted back with another unboxing and review of a Mattel Elite Series action figure. Today we are going over Johnny Wrestling Elite 70 Johnny Gargano. This man has done it all in the indies and in NXT. He's been a tag team champion, he's been a North American champion, and he's been the NXT champion. All amazing feats. Johnny Gargano is one of the best wrestlers right now. Maybe, eventually, one of the best wrestlers of all time. And I will put him in that league. Because right now, I think he's on the top of his game. He's had great matches with Ciampa, Adam Cole. Amazing. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to unbox him today. But first and foremost, we've got to cut to this. I hope that you guys are enjoying my content, and if you do, please feel free to share it with your friends and family, because maybe they'll like it too. Try to get to a bigger audience so they can get involved with the contest that I'm having. And we all know that I love to throw contests and give you guys free stuff. So go ahead, give it a share. Go to my YouTube channel as well, it's right here, bop, bop. and feel free to subscribe to that, because soon I'm going to start doing exclusive prizes on there as well. That's right, you heard it here first. Each form of social media will eventually have its own contest. Sorry guys, I gotta do it. I gotta get across all social media. I gotta get everybody involved. And at that point, I'm loving it. Because I love giving you guys free stuff and I love you guys commenting and liking my stuff. So let's keep it going. All right, back to Johnny Gargano. Man, I get real hype on this stuff, don't I? All right, I hope you guys are getting hype with me because, man, I love doing these videos, and I love it, especially whenever I get a themed wrestler. Oh, man, this is so good. As you can tell, I got my Venom shirt on. I'm a huge Venom fan, and if you guys even care, there's my tattoo, Mr. Venom himself. Yeah, boy, and I got Carnage right up there. That is my favorite series in Marvel. Like the Carnage and Venom sagas, everything. Like I, I love Carnage because he's just nothing but destruction. I love Venom because he's that, what do you call it, uh, chaotic neutral. Like you never know what he's gonna do. And when he came into NXT TakeOver 4 in Brooklyn with this attire, I flipped my wig, peeled it straight back. It was like I was in a wind tunnel and every part of my follicles just ripped off. It went right behind me. Give me five seconds. All right. Sorry for getting real crazy on that. But when it comes to like this kind of stuff, I absolutely love it. On the back of the box, John Gargano. That is a really nice picture of him. Uh, on the side of the box, you do have his portrait as always. I think uh, that's a really good portrait for him. On the back of the box, it reads, The Rebel Heart of NXT tapped into his dark side and NXT take over Brooklyn 4, feeding in his obsession and destroying Tommaso Ciampa. I wouldn't say he destroyed him, but they had a fantastic match. That match pulled out all the stops, and I think it really solidified Johnny Gargano and NXT. Uh, so, yeah, it also says that he's the NXT champion, the North American champion, and tag champion. So, he's, he's done it all, basically, in NXT. I kind of want him to get called up, but then I, I'm, I'm fearful for like him and guys like Tommaso Ciampa and Adam Cole. If they did get called up, I'm afraid that they're going to get lost in the shuffle that is the WWE superstars. So right now, I'm really happy that he's sticking with NXT. He's honing more skills and he's having superb matches. So let's keep him there until the right time because I don't want him forced up just because of these Wednesday Night Wars between NXT and AEW. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I got to say. So let's get to unboxing this bad boy. All right. Got my handy-dandy uh, Walmart cutter that I had when I used to work there. My wife still works there, so we're going to go ahead and uh, cut him open there. It's pretty cool that he comes with a fire extinguisher. That's uh, not a common thing not a common accessory not a thing 
these boxes are so much easier to open than the newer waves. So there's my box right through my cat. There you go, Pringles. Have fun. Inside the box. Well, inside the shell, you can see Mr. Gargano himself joined the wrestling. Uh, the fire extinguisher and it comes with two sets of hands so you get the ones that are on him now plus two more that is pretty cool that's a that's a lot of hands and especially like uh, with the skin tones and stuff you can switch them with other wrestlers so that, that's really cool let's go ahead and take this fire extinguisher out first uh, there is it has the WWE logo on there and um, that pretty cool uh, it's like the fire extinguishers that they have underneath the rings whenever they spray when the bad guy sprays the good guy and really oh my face i can't see but uh yeah that's a pretty cool accessory i, I enjoy that even though i'm never going to use it maybe uh i'll give it away or something i don't know uh, let's try to get these hands out okay calm down i don't want to break them Dang. Now, there's one. This is all live, baby. There, there's two. Alright, so there are the open hands where I'm about to slap the crap out of your chest hands. Alright, and there are the closed fists that come here. so you can just punch the crap out of somebody's jaw and break it. You ready to take him out? Let's do it. All right. First thing I noticed taking him out of there, I looked at his hairline and it kind of looks like he has some paint issues. I'm trying to get it. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. But it doesn't matter. It's really cool. Uh, I'm really enjoying this attire, mostly because it is Marvel based and uh, it is uh, Venom, of course. So this is my, probably my favorite attire. And that's just because I'm being biased. Because, you know, my Marvel thing. So anyways, uh, he comes with a removable vest, which is really nice. It's very nicely done. His knee pads are killer. They have the, the decals that he uses. Uh, has Johnny Wrestling on his left. And this is his right leg, so that would be his uh, famous Famous Titan Tron, kind of, would you call it a smiley face? No, I don't know. Uh, his boots and uh, his socks that go up from his boot. Pretty cool looking. And on the back, his tights as Johnny Russell. And let's go ahead and remove this. Because these ones are actually very simple to remove, these vests. They have like the little clasps in the back. And well, I hope I don't need my words, but no, that was really simple. Okay, so there he is, Johnny Wrestling. He has his uh, wristbands, wrist tape. And th this is a solid looking figure, I'm telling you. Uh, probably about, I'm gonna say eight out of 10. Uh, I'm not gonna let my biased miss, if, if that's a word, I don't think that's a word. I'm not gonna let that overtake my judgment of the figure. Uh, but I think it's a solid figure. I'm not gonna give it a 10. But I, I'm really happy with the outcome. And there it is, the best. It's pretty removable. It, these are the class that I'm talking about. So, these things. All right. Yeah, this is really cool. Uh, I, I think I'm gonna display them without the vest on. But then again, But that is what I have for him. And we are going to cut away with Mr. Dylan Wrestling. And we're gonna do one of these, maybe, and I'll talk about it. Nah, not maybe I'm gonna do that. So here we go, we cut to that back, boop. Mattel's Elite Series 73 Johnny Wrestling Johnny Gargano comes with a removable vest and two sets of hands. This figure is super sweet. All right, so that's all I have for uh, Johnny Wrestling, Johnny Gargano. This is, like I said, it's a solid figure, eight out of 10. And uh, I'm not gonna say, I mean, if you're a really good 
real, really big, I should say, Gargana fan, and you're you're loving the Undisputed Era and all that other stuff that's happening. Uh, I mean, I am. It, to me, if I didn't get this, I would regret it. This is a super sweet figure, and I think if you're a huge fan of Gargano, NXT, you'll regret it if you don't get this as well. This, I mean, if you pass it and you don't get it, I'm, I'm sure he's going to have figures later on, but this is a, a solid figure, and I think that he deserves to be bought. And I think that he's a great addition to your collection. So, yeah, buy it. <laughs> Just go ahead and buy it, guys. Because I'm not going to say you're going to regret it, but you're going to regret it. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to, before I do my shout out, I want to say something else. So we're going to go ahead and cut to that because that's newsworthy to me. And I hope that you guys will completely understand. So, cutting it out. Okay, so we, we all know that I love wrestling, and I love unboxing the wrestling figures because I've just done another episode with it, and I just slammed them on the ground, and I hope he doesn't come to my house and beat me up. So, uh, I want to start branching out into my other figures that I collect because, I mean, obviously wrestling is my biggest, but I also collect Power Rangers, uh, I collect uh, DC stuff, I collect statues, and I want to start doing that as well because I feel like I'm more than just wrestling figures. This is a, a channel called Figure Addicted. So I, I do want to unbox my Power Ranger figures that I've got from uh, from Bandai and Hasbro. So I want to do those. I'm also going to show you statues that I have in my collection. Uh, I collect pops some. I don't collect a lot, but I do collect pops. I, I don't really dabble into the wrestling pops, which is one of the promotions that I gave away. I gave away my Undertaker pop. I mean, I, I really don't have a use for it. I'm sure you guys would love it more than I do. That's why I was giving it away. So, in, in conclusion, I'm going to start having other videos besides just wrestling. I want to give it to a broader, broader audience because I'm part of that broader audience. I want to see wrestling figures. I want to see action figures. I want to see Marvel, DC. I want to see all that. And I'm sure you guys do too. Most of you are wrestling fans and you came to my channel and you, you wanted to see the wrestling figures. And I appreciate that. So we're still going to do that, but not every week. Like I, like every week, every other day, I'm unboxing a wrestling figure, which has been cut drastically. I'm one or two, maybe a week. So I'm glad that you guys are understanding that. I'm still getting followers. We're almost at that 500 mark, and I want you guys to push me to that. Push me to the 500 because I'm giving that $30 Ringside Collectibles giveaway. So go ahead, keep sharing with your friends and family because I'm going to do more than just wrestling, and I hope you guys appreciate that because I want to see it. I want to see other people unbox and stuff like that. So why not, you know? So anyways, let's go to the shout out section. All right, guys, today we're going to go ahead and give a shout out to Cooper Figs. I think you guys should go to his channel because his page, not his channel. I keep calling it a channel because of the YouTube thing. Sorry. Anyway, go see Cooper. Cooper Figs, names right here. Go check him out. His content is top notch. I love the way he uses his fonts. I love his customs. He has a custom Darby Allen Funko Pop. It looks simply sick. It is super fire. It's amazing. I think you guys would really enjoy his channel. So if you're not following him yet, go follow him now. Uh, I do have a list of more people I want to shout out. And that's in for, for the foreseeable future, maybe five to seven episodes. And then I'm going to have to start getting more people to shout out. But today, I want to focus on Cooper Figs. All right, if you're not following him, go follow him now. All right, and that's it. That's uh, episode nine in the books. I, I, I really appreciate you guys coming to see me, uh, checking out my videos. I'm sorry I'm going to have to cut them short a little bit more. So you're not going to have as much during the week. But... It gives me more time to make these videos that I'm doing now better. It gives me more hype. I don't want this to feel like a job. That's the whole thing. And 
I have to balance my family, I have to balance my job, and doing every other day a video and all the work that I'm trying to put into it, it's a lot. So I want to focus more on one or two at a time for a week. That way it's better quality for you guys. I'm not getting stressed that I'm not posting something. And I know that you guys completely understand and I appreciate every single one of you. Again, like I said, I want you guys to go ahead and share me with your friends and family because I'm, I, I would guarantee they're liking me too because I think I get hype. You know what I mean? I, I put that roof up. That's the old guy. See, I'm, I'm a little bit older. I'm sure you can see the, the grays in my beard. So I'm a little bit older. I try to get hype. I want to get you guys involved in my videos. I love the comments. I love the likes. I like everything. So until next time, I appreciate you guys for coming to see me, checking out my videos. Again, I'm going to shout out my YouTube channel again. I want you guys to go ahead and subscribe that because exclusive contest, guys. Free stuff. You know, just, just by going, commenting, doing whatever. Also, you can check me on Facebook, same name, Figure Addicted. You can check me on Twitter, Figure Addicted. So it, it's not like it's a different name. Go ahead, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, and here on Instagram. So I appreciate you guys. Until next time, peace.